Caitlin, Gabe, Evelyn, and Emma, all behind the scenes ensuring the inner workings of the School of Health Sciences so that it works without hindrance, or maybe small hindrances, but they figure it out. And we've also ensured that this Lydia Gray Nursing Program pinning and commission ceremony is a memorable, memorable celebratory event, and that it happens. Thank you, you guys. To your family members and friends, give them a big applause. Next, I would like to introduce you to Provost Hartley. 
who is joined, um, who also joined us with you in the midst of the pandemic. Oops. It just becomes a part of who you are. 
So um, I'd like to introduce our student speakers today. Um, today we'll have the pleasure of hearing some reflective thoughts from the cohort elected student speakers. Our first speaker represented the B representing the BSN graduating class is Jacob Wong. <laughs> and our second speaker representing the DNP graduating class is Glenda Shepherd. Challenge yourself. You'll never grow if you stay in your comfort zone all the time. 
we as aspiring nurses need to be able to do so many things, from do, inserting an IV to doing chest compressions during a code week. Sometimes you might think, I should let someone else more experience do this. But if it's something that we can do, that we just don't want to, why not give it a try? Every mistake we make is a learning experience. There are multiple quotes on this exact topic, including, failure is the mother of success, an old Chinese proverb, anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried making new, by Albert Einstein, and I have not failed, I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work, by Thomas Edison. So I challenge all of my classmates, all of you, and everyone here to go be a and try something new. Who knows what you might do? Well, I got the job. 
and I still ask God why. This is not what I want to do. Frankly, I was very disappointed. I'm thankful I had the wisdom to surrender to God's guidance because 11 years later, I've had one job that fills my heart, overflows my spirit. And I say to you, what might appear as not is what's best for you. So trust God. The takeaway is to trust God so that you love what you do and your cup run it over. And a side note, in addition to the work I do, my next chapter is a women's coaching service or practice. You see, it wasn't a no, it was just a lead. And lastly, as we end this journey, let's leave United with a collective vision to improve health outcomes. United we stand, divided we fall. Future nurse practitioner colleagues, let's be the change we need in healthcare and the world. We have gained leadership skills and competencies to transcend the transformation of a better healthcare system. Collectively, as healthcare leaders, we can change the landscape of health and healthcare equity, where healthcare does not vary in quality because of personal characteristics such as gender, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, or geographic location. We are all leaders, regardless of fancy titles or positions. So lead where you are. Leadership is about your action and the example you set for others. Great leadership begins with self-awareness and being true to oneself. So remember what we learned in Nursing 7101, our core values, our personality type, our leadership style. Stay true to who you are, and it will give you radical strength and courage. One of my anchor scriptures that infuse my soul every day is Joshua 1.9. Be strong and courageous. In closing, let's leave today united as colleagues with one accord, leading the way for a better healthcare system with equal access for all. The late John Lewis, a congressman and civil rights advocate once said, if not us, then who? If not now, then when? So remember, trust God, be true to yourself, be strong and courageous, and let's stand united. Thank you.
And on behalf of the Spring 2022 cohort, I am so honored to present this award to Ashley Miranda. <laughs> Serpentine stone 
The economy and politics of Zimzali have been in turmoil for decades, and the artists have been able to support hundreds of people and their families with this work. Through this partnership, nurses are reaching women around the world and impacting the lives of these very special artists. And the artists are filled with gratitude toward nurses for this work. This is our second year partnering with the Daisy Foundation for the Nursing Student Awards, and it's been our honor. I'm my honor to serve as the Daisy Committee Chair, and Dr. Wolf Whitman is one of the committee members. We have been privileged to have a member from Seattle Cancer Care Alliance on our committee, particularly because Patrick was a patient at SCCA. Daisy Award nominees demonstrate commitment to compassionate care of patients and families. They make a personal connection with patients and families and peers by building trust and respect and advocate strongly for patients and families. Nursing students are nominated by faculty, peers, patients, and preceptors. I will be announcing the BSN nominees and the BSN honoree, and Dr. Wolf will announce the DNP nominees and the honoree. And this year, the committee decided to keep it a surprise. So nobody knows <laughs> until now. And so we received the following nominations for BSN students who are graduating today. Please come forward and stand up here until um, we announce the honoree. So uh, come on up. Tiff Buta. <laughs>
2020 Daisy DMP honoree, which was submitted by the student's preceptor. During the honoree's clinical rotation with me, she spent time with her patients. She provided care by considering patients' individual needs, i.e. socially and or financially. For patients who had barriers in following up or accessing specialty care, she spent extra time to look for appropriate resources for her patients. Her patients appreciated her kind and warm-hearted clinical style. She spent time with patients and their families. For patients who had language barriers, she used both interpretation services and graphic instruction sheets to promote communication. She also earned compliments from our team members, including the MAs and the RNs, who highly appreciated her strong teamwork skills. She advocates for patients by extending her time with patients and explaining treatment and follow-up plans, over-the-counter <coughs> options, possible side effects of medications, etc. During the pandemic, many patients are confused with COVID vaccine and isolation protocols. She often sits down with the patient and family to discuss the details of the CDC guidelines and develops a family-appropriate plan for our patients. It is with great honor that I announce this year's recipient of the Daisy Extraordinary DNP Nursing Student Award, Candace Schiff.
clinical instructors, and nurses everywhere. Welcome to the nursing profession. Please welcome Dr. Heidi Monroe to lead the graduates through today. try to keep the line depth to 10 people maximum. Students, as you see your pinner approach the front of the line, please prepare to join them center stage. Julianne will hand the pin to the pinner as I call your name and you will pro both proceed to the center of the stage to be pinned. Pinners, place the pin over the head of your student. They're on ribbons. Also, you may both remove your mask before the pinning. Stand center stage for a photograph. Pinners and students will then return to their seats. Okay, graduating BSN class. It is my pleasure to present your nursing pin from Seattle Pacific University to you.
Jocelyn Gonzalez Perea, pinned by Celedonia Perea. <laughs> Amo Moha 
Muhammad, pinned by Qadar Abdi.
Dr. Bethany Rolf Witham for the presentation of the Doctor of Nursing Practice Hoods. Nicole has completed a DNP 
community scholarly project entitled Pre-Surgical SARS Coronavirus 2 Asymptomatic Testing for Patients, a Program Evaluation, for which I served as faculty chair. It is my honor to present to Nicole with the doctoral hood. with the faculty. 
faculty of the graduate nursing program, I, Pamela Davies, recognize Kimberly Gilda as a doctor of nursing for which I serve as faculty chair. It is my honor to present Annie with the doctoral hood.
together with the faculty of the graduate nursing program, I, Dr. Lori Wild, recognize Mercedes Versek as a doctor of nursing practice, family nurse practitioner candidate. Mercedes has completed a DNP scholarly project titled Evaluation of the Hester Davis Scale for Fall Risk Assessment in the Oncology Population, for which I served as the faculty chair. It is my honor to present Mercedes with a doctoral hood.
the lamp will always shine brightly as a symbol of the care and devotion the nurse administers to the sick and injured in the practice of nursing. Our graduating BSN and DNP cohort of students will now honor the dedication of Nurse Florence Nightingale with a candle lighting ceremony. So graduates, would you please stand and turn on your candles. Graduates, please join me in reciting the pledge. I pledge myself here before my God and in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession with integrity. I will endeavor to maintain and elevate the standard of nursing, both as a science and as an art. I wholeheartedly recognize the importance of high standards of care and of personal accountability. I devote myself to the healing, protection, and welfare of those committed to my care. I accept a duty to work for the improvement of health in the communities in which I live and work. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping and will respect the privacy of medical information. I will act with compassion in ethical matters. I will not knowingly administer any harmful substance. I fully acknowledge the seriousness of the responsibility that I accept in my calling and the significance of this pledge that I take today. Please be seated, students. Please welcome Dr. Cindy Dong for the closing prayer.
and the quiet times when you pause and breathe. May rest find you in the chaos of the moment and the sorrow you seek to heal. May rest strengthen and bless you. May it fill your spirit and give you an earth joy. May you find rest in the care of others, in the knowledge of your worth, and the value of your service. May the one who gives rest bless you and hold you close. And may you, in your very being, be a place of rest for others. Amen. Go in peace and good health. Thank you everyone for joining us tonight for this very special ceremony. Enjoy your evening celebrating with your family and friends, and congratulations to class of 2022.